Authority Local Forecast. On this Friday's Eve, our temperature is not exactly raising the roof. We're certainly thankful for that. Let's take a peek at your RV World of Yuma Skycam just to give you a little glimpse of a snippet of the desert southwest we'd like to call Yuma, but unlike other days, you can see we have a very murky kind of outlook. Lots of cloud coverage in the area, and that's certainly been a big benefit to us. More on that in just a few moments, but your West Coast satellite radar, you see, yes, that band of cloud coverage, that subtropic band kind of rolling through, acting as an insulator for the desert southwest. You'll see the results of that in moments, but we still do have an excessive heat warning in play until 8 p.m. So we're talking a little bit less than two hours before that actually comes to an end. So we're breathing a sigh of relief there. Your desert southwest temperatures, as you can see in the Imperial Valley, for starters, yeah, 90s all over the place. I mean, we got up to the high 90s and not much more than that today. That's what the cloud coverage has done, acting as an insulator, not allowing those temperatures to balloon too high, so we're thankful for that. Over in the Yuma area of the desert southwest, we've been agreeable as well, albeit a little bit toastier over in eastern Yuma County. Your future cast, as far as the ridge of high pressure is concerned, it has certainly been a dominant weather player for us, but not so dominant in the coming days because we have a few upper level systems to the north that are going to give it a little bit of trouble and push it back a little bit and allow us to become a little bit more agreeable. But it is going to come with some wind as far as the future. That is concerned, you see it's definitely going to be worked up over in the Imperial Valley. So we are going to be dealing with a gust up to possibly 20 to possibly even 30 miles an hour. Your Metrocast for the midnight hour, we're talking high in 70s. We should wake up to temperatures almost at 70 degrees if you get up at 6 a.m. And then by noontime, we'll be well into the 90s. Your Cretines extended forecast, as you can see, we are going to be having another day of 100s. We should bounce back for Friday, but then by the time we get on into the weekend, we will go down a little bit. So we're thankful for that before we surge upward. Imperial Valley, very similar outlook applies to us. The only difference is we have a little bit more wind coverage for the next couple of days, settling our temperatures down before again, those temperatures go right back up. And yes, we could be talking about more excessive heat. Oh, Rob, say it isn't so. Yeah, it might be. 